Chris Sale is yet again headed to the IL, unfortunately, but this time there may be a bit of good news. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin, and obviously when I say ace of your pitching staff is headed to the IL, it's never really good news, right? Well, if you're the Boston Red Sox and your ace is Chris Sale, that's a bit of a loaded question. Given Chris Sale's injury history and his stints on the IL in the past, every time the words IL and Chris Sale are mentioned in the same sentence, they'd send shivers not only down the spines of Red Sox Nation, but of the Red Sox themselves. However, this time it may be there may be a bit of a silver lining. So that's what we're going over today. We are talking about the latest injury news surrounding Chris Sale. We're going to talk about what his injury may be. We're going to be talking about how much time he might possibly miss. We're going to be talking about why there may be a silver lining in all this. And we're going to be talking about why there are still so many questions. But before we get into that, do me a favor. Make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new here, we talk Red Sox content almost every single day. Also, make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video as well. Helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's break this thing down starting at the very beginning. For those of you who haven't been paying attention or for those of you who may not have seen yet, Chris Sale was taken out of Thursday's game in the fourth inning after having pitched two and two-thirds innings in a one-run ball game after striking out six batters. He was taken out due to something with his left shoulder, which after the game, Alex Cora indicated was left shoulder soreness. But what really sent Red Sox fans into hysterics was the fact that Alex Cora also mentioned in the same sentence that Chris Sale was going to have to get an MRI and he wasn't very confident in what the results were going to be. And again, this sent Red Sox fans into hysterics. And rightfully so, right? Over the last couple of years, it's felt like every time we've been close to getting true Chris Sale back, something else happens and he ends up right back at square one. It's a totally normal reaction to freak out about Chris Sale being mentioned in the same sentence as an MRI. And then after that, we kind of got radio silence, right? At least until 6.15 p.m. yesterday afternoon when Chris Sale sat down with media members where he announced that he had been diagnosed with left shoulder inflammation. Now, this could actually be good news, but before we get to that, let's talk about the human aspect of all of this because for the most part, I think a lot of the comments that we're going to see on this video are going to have to do with Chris Sale having a terrible contract and Chris Sale being a fragile guy, but Chris Sale right now, dude, all I want to do is give this guy a hug. And the reason for that is because this guy is the most competitive person on the planet. He lives to pitch. He lives to play baseball. He lives to fight for his teammates. And this is yet another opportunity that he is missing because of an injury. Just take a look at some of the quotes he had in his press conference. You were talking about things where he was saying, I hate feeling like this. I started having fun playing baseball again, and now I'm back to not having fun, and that sucks. Or it's kind of a gut punch. I've really worked hard a a lot of people worked really hard to get me to this spot or it's tough being a disappointment again. You can't help but feel bad for this guy. I know that this contract isn't a very good contract at this point, but right now I do not care, right? I don't care about his contract. I don't care about the Red Sox are paying him. I care about Chris Sale as a person and what this means and what he's going through, right? We've all battled tough times in our lives. Imagine that just keep happening over and over and over again. You start to climb back up that mountain. You just keep getting pushed down. You just keep getting beat down. You got to pick yourself up every single time face 40 50 thousand people probably more in Red Sox nation where you got to tell them straight to their face yeah the guy that you paid a ton of money for the guy that you put all your faith in is once again not going to be able to uh, perform because his body won't let him that is terrible right that is something that we should all feel for Chris Sale and it makes you want to root for Chris Sale and root for him I will right now for Chris Sale it may be a bit of good news in terms of at least how long he's going to be on the IL because for right now now he's diagnosed with right shoulder inflammation, which, if you guys remember, is sort of similar to what we've seen with two other pitchers on this team so far this year. Chris Martin had elbow inflammation, and so did Garrett Whitlock. Now, both times these guys had inflammation, they were able to get right and get going at the end of their 15-day IL stint. So, for right now, at least, there is a decent-sized chance that if it's only shoulder inflammation with Chris Sale, he may be able to get back onto this team within two weeks of the start of his IL date which is fantastic news for not only the Red Sox, but Chris Sale. However, there is a bit of a catch to this, and 
I gotta be honest with you, it's not good news. As part of his presser, Chris Sale also mentioned that the MRI results weren't entirely clear, and while he was at the doctors, they ordered a CT scan on him, and he's having to get multiple more tests. So the initial diagnosis of a right shoulder inflammation injury could change very quickly here. Now, we aren't gonna know those results until the end of next week. Chris Sale himself said he probably won't find out for five to seven days, so there's gonna be a bit of time in between here. But until then, I, at least on this channel, am going to be treating Chris Sale as just shoulder inflammation injury, which again, is good news. It means that Chris Sale could possibly miss the least amount of time possible. We could see him back on the field, at least if it's shoulder inflammation injury, in the next two weeks to a month, right? Which isn't the end of the world. Now, how this is going to affect the Boston Red Sox going forward, obviously any way you cut it, Chris Sale going down is really bad news for this Red Sox team. In all honesty, this may be the biggest injury blow we've had so far this year, and we've had some doozies, right? Adam Duvall gets off to that hot start, but ends up getting injured. Trevor Story, we never even really got to see in a Red Sox uniform this year so far, but Chris Sale going down to me is going to have the biggest impact on this Red Sox team because of what he was doing on the mound. In a season where starting pitching was such an inconsistency, Chris Sale, since his rough start in Baltimore, had just a 2.25 ERA with a 2.76 fit. He was also one of the best pitchers in May, and he was key to the Red Sox being competitive in 2023. Taking him out of this rotation just adds more question marks to a part of this team where there had, there had really only been question marks this entire year, right? Chris Sale himself was a question mark for the first month of this season. To have him settle in and be truly Chris Sale again was a massive boost to this Red Sox team, and it was one of the reasons a lot of people were still relatively optimistic about the Red Sox chances going forward. Now, if Chris Sale only misses those two weeks to a month here, it's not, it's going to suck, yes, it's going to really hurt this Red Sox team every five days, but it's not a season ender, right? What's going to need to happen if Chris Sale's only out for a shorter period of time, you're going to need to see guys like Whitlock and Tanner Houck really step it up in this rotation. They've been sort of all over the place this year. Obviously, Whitlock's been dealing with injuries. Houck's still trying to figure out how to be a legitimate five-inning, six-inning type pitcher, but they need to step it up and they need to step it up quick because right now, Brian Bayo's doing fine. James Paxton had that one bad start, but he's doing fine, right? He's not guaranteed either. You need to start getting a guarantee somewhere else outside of Brian Bayo. For a while, that had been Chris Sale. Now it needs to be either Whitlock or Tanner Houck, and you can sort of make it work until he comes back. But I'm going to be honest with you guys here and brutally honest, which I'm normally not this negative, but if the Red Sox find out and Chris Sale finds out that he either has a tear or a strain or he's going to need three to four months of rehab before he can get back out onto the field, I don't like the Red Sox chances of being competitive this year, right? If we lose Chris Sale every five days, that's every five days where you have yet another question mark on this team, and it's every five days where you're going to have to figure out how to win ball games without getting five, six, seven innings of Chris Sale every five days. So yeah, I don't like the Red Sox chances if Chris Sale's out for an extremely long period of time, and that's not something we're going to know over the next couple of days. It's something we're going to figure out in the next week or so, right? But for now, you guys know who I am. I'm a bit of an optimist, so I'm strictly sticking to the facts on this injury as of right now. The facts are Chris Sale only has shoulder inflammation, which again is a silver lining because every other time we've seen Chris Sale go into the IL in the past couple of years, it's been devastating news. This isn't devastating news. We knew Chris Sale wasn't going to be able to make it through an entire season without getting injured. That's just who he is, right? A 15-day IL stint is nothing in the grand scheme of things, as especially when you're getting the production that you're getting from Chris Sale, fine. Take your two weeks, come back, and start revving up again and being that ace caliber pitcher that we know and love. Again, obviously things could change very quickly, and once those facts change, then we can start talking about a more negative outlook on this. But until then, that's the way I'm looking at it, and I know. <laughs> a lot of you guys hate the fact that I tend to look at things optimistically, so 
Go ahead, destroy me in the comments. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of this latest Chris Sale injury news? What do you think of the original diagnosis of, of left shoulder inflammation? Let me know what you guys think of him still needing tests. Let me know what your confidence level is in the Red Sox if Chris Sale's on a 15-day IL stint or if Chris Sale's on a much longer IL stint. Let me know all your thoughts on the latest Chris Sale injury in the comment section down below. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, do me a favor. Make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new here, we talk Red Sox content almost every single day. Also, make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video as well. Helps these videos out a ton, and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one, and I will see you in the Red Seats.